Hi and welcome to this tutorial. This is going to be the first in a line of tutorials on how to calculate depreciation in Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download it there. So this being the first uh, depreciation tutorial that I'm doing, I'm going to start out with the easiest thing to calculate, straight line depreciation. Now, um, it really is easy to calculate because every year it's going to be the same. So you could do a mathematical formula. But in Excel, who needs that when we've got functions? So I'm going to go over the function real quick so you can do that and then talk about some other things afterwards. The function to calculate depreciation is simply equals SLN, open parentheses. Now the first thing you need is the cost. So the initial cost right here, a million dollars. The salvage value, 100,000. And the lifetime in years. For this case, it'll be six. So there are only three arguments. Once you hit enter, you get the depreciation amount for all six of those years, $150,000. Now to check that, you could easily times depreciation by lifetime in years to get 900 grand. 900 plus 100,000 is a million. So now we know it works. Now that was the uh, very quick way to explain it and if that's all you wanted you don't have to watch anymore. But now I'm going to talk a little bit more about this and um, paste the SLN formula or function right here. So this is the formula for SLN in case I went too quick for you. Equals SLN cost comma salvage comma life. Only three arguments. Now obviously calculating depreciation is the easy part, right? The initial cost, well you know what you paid, you have the receipt and the bills, so you can uh, tack that on there. And then the uh, salvage value, that's kind of going to be where you have to estimate things, right? How much do you think it's going to be worth in six years? How much can you get for it? And um, that's where any inaccuracies might arise. But that's really where your best judgment comes in hand. Uh, lifetime, again, how long do you think it's going to be useful? It should really be the useful lifetime of um, whatever the item is. And then the depreciation formula down here. So there's really not that much to um, calculating straight line depreciation. 150 grand is what it's going to be for all six years. So year one, 150 grand. Year two, 150 grand, etc. And that's what you can um, write off in your taxes. Obviously, not giving advice, write off on your taxes depending on what country you're in. I'm assuming you're in the U.S. Um, with uh, normal gap counting rules and so on. Anyway, though, that's um, it for this tutorial. If you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download it there.